Let in the studio, as we've been advised not to. Per Infinity Broadcasting has uh, told <laughs> us he's got a great story. So we said you can come in, but it better be a great effing story. Right. If you're going to let you into the studio without a pass. And here's the other thing, Al. As soon as the story's over, I want you out of here because I don't want trouble. Okay. I know. Just don't start, you know, laughing off your big story and then just <laughs> hanging out, right. leaning on hog. Yeah. That, ain't gonna that sort of thing. We know what you're up to. What happened now? Oh, I normally take a uh, taxi to the train station after well, the show. Well, that's a great story. Thanks for coming in. All no. right, get Baz, out. There you go. It's a little bit of uh, life from our ex-producer, Al Dukes. Slice he, of life, yeah. Yeah, he normally takes a uh, taxi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With uh, Billy Staples and Rory. Oh, there's the three stooches, if I ever heard of them. <laughs> yeah. So, Early. <laughs> So no, normally how what happens is me and Rory get in on one side and Billy walks around and gets in on the other side of the cab. Okay. So last night uh me and Rory got in and slid in and uh the cab started taking off while Billy still had the uh was was still trying to get into the cab on the other side. Right. So the cab's heading down the street Billy's half in half out. Half in half out. His right foot was uh, stuck under the cab driver's seat and he was getting dragged and he was holding on to the door, so the door was not standing still either. Oh, my gosh. And you can hear the scrape of his sole of his shoe just sliding down on the pavement. He's Nike skiing down Broadway. <laughs> yeah. He didn't Those just... big high-top Converse, how did they stand it? And just going, whoa, whoa, whoa. Were people beeping and stuff? No, I don't think so. I... Right, what were you and Rory screaming? Our buddies? Uh... <laughs> I'm not sure I knew. Our buddies being dragged? No, I think I was just looking, and I don't even know if I was saying anything to the guy. <laughs> Joe Poo just wrote on the instant feedback, Billy is the cab. <laughs> nice. Which is mean, even when you're not here. So as busy as it is at 11 o'clock at night, Staples is getting dragged down West 57th Street in Manhattan. Yeah. Staples cab! <laughs> now! And his legs are getting so far <laughs> apart from each other because he was trying to stop himself. It was... Very strange. So, uh, is he screaming? Yeah, he was yelling, whoa, 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 as he's getting pulled down the road. And what happened? He's trying to hang on to that door. I mean, uh, how did it all, all end up? The okay. guy eventually yeah, realizes it. The guy eventually realized it, and then he got kind of thrown from it. And his Who bag, got thrown? Billy just got thrown back, and his bag was on the ground. He fell down? I don't the street? I think he did a, a backward stumble. So the guy just hits the brake while Billy's still trying to keep going on one foot. Yes. And trying to hold himself up. It was one of the funniest so, things I've ever seen. Now, <laughs> you, neither you hey. nor Rory said, hey, my buddy's not in? No, it was, by the time we realized what was happening, it was, he was already being dragged. Yes, now you scream and you that's, say, stop. That's my the, friend's being dragged. <laughs> when someone's getting dragged, that's the point where you speak up. This is, all right, Billy's being dragged and this is out. Excuse me, excuse me, my sir. Oh, you're busy. I'll wait. I'll wait and tell him when we get to Penn Station. And the guy's blaring, uh, you know, Radio Pakistan as loud as he can. Sure. Yeah, so. so that's your funny story. Yeah, it was funny. Our friend gets hurt by a cat. I, I don't think he goes seriously hurt, so. I know, but Al, he got dragged. I, yeah, he did on get one I, foot. This on the uh, instant feedback. He wouldn't save a baby. You think he would help Billy Staples? <laughs> That's a good point. I never forget. And you could just hear his shoes and the whole thing just scraping going down the road. I'd also on the instant feedback. I was yelling, "Stop! My lover is in danger." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How long did he get dragged for? Probably fifteen feet. And just going back and forth on that door because there was nothing solid that he could hold on to. Right, so he's holding on to the door for dear life, and the door keeps closing on his one foot that's stuck? Yeah, because it just keeps going back and forth. What a horrible nightmare. All right, hold on. L let me get uh, Billy in for this. Staples! Now! Hi, Draggy. He's dragging the line, Fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> Who did that song years ago? Who did this Tommy song? James and the Shondells. They're what great. A great song. <laughs> New York's own Tommy James. He was the late 60s hit machine. 
<laughs> All right, you okay? Yeah. Hey, Fuzzy, you know that song by Tommy James, Money, Money? Right. About that building right next to us. Really? With the big uh, clock on it and the thermometer thing? Uh-huh. It says Money. Right. Yeah, that's where he came from. That's where wow. he sees that. He writes a song. <laughs> Fez sees it and goes, can I get another hot dog? I need to be partners with Tommy James. All right, here comes Billy. What happened to you, dragging the line? <sighs> it's... What are you Nike skiing out in the middle of the highway for? You know, I never liked skitching as a kid, and this was even worse. It was, skitching. It was, it was really scary. I mean, it was like, I didn't know what the hell happened. and It, would, it wouldn't even have happened in freaking Al waiting for me to get in the cab first. What did he do? What happened? I'm not even in the cab yet, and he goes... Penn Station. I heard him yell it. You know, it's like I'm sitting there one foot in, the other foot out. The guy takes off, and I'm holding on to the door that's flopping back as I go. And it's like, wait till I'm in the cab before you're you lucky tell the guy. You didn't pop a staple. Oh. All right, so you're, you're blaming this on Al. Well, I didn't tell the guy Penn Station half in and half out well, of the yeah, cab. Wait till the guy's <laughs> in before you start saying... Step on it. Penn Station is step on it. Well, normally as soon as I slide in, I'll just tell them. Why? Just so he knows What's right away where we're what? going. Why? Take your time. Get everybody in. How many get your team together. Then say, okay, we've got everybody safe and secure in the back of this filthy cab, Penn Station. Now, how many weeks we've been doing this? We do it the same way every night. Every right. night you I, get dragged? No, I get in the other Who side. Who sits in the middle, Al? Yeah. yeah. Like a homo. He gets the hump seat. Yeah. But it's like every night we do it the same way. I go around the other side to get in. We get in. He goes Penn Station. Last night he gets he sits in the middle. Goes Penn Station. The guys Boom! and I'm like yo. And Al's sitting there like I gotta catch my train. Now, what, did, did, could you see his face while you're being dragged? What no, you, no. What do you call it? Skitching. Skitching. <laughs> Is that's that like what, shrimping? That's what you do in your kid when it snowed out. You yeah, I remember that, but we didn't call it skitching. That's New York. Skitching is New York. But I do remember holding <laughs> on to the bumper of a car, skiing, and everything would be going great till you hit a manhole. Ah! Then boom! Or the dry patch. Yeah, well. Ew. You know, Billy shouldn't be getting in on that side where the traffic is. Every night that he does it, they give him a weird look like, why are you going into the traffic to get in? What do you want, Billy? Yeah, you're not supposed to enter from the street well, side. You want Billy to put his big ass in and then slide three? Yeah, that ain't slide gonna happen. Over. Well, if you would move over in the middle instead of just plopping your ass right in the middle seat all the time and, like, expecting someone else to go to the other side wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, Billy's the largest. He should get in last. Yeah. And then it's like, well, it's all done, and, like, Rory jumps out of the cab, say, Billy, you know how you feeling? Are you all right? I'll sit in the back seat. You know, guys, I got a train to catch. Well, he didn't want there to be any trouble. I knew you weren't seriously hurt. Oh, well, that, that's how very good. Well. What are you, a doctor? He said, he, the guy, he said, are Look you okay? Billy said, I'm okay, I'm okay. The man's in tight jeans and doing the splits down West 57th Street. And the best part was Al goes to me, he goes, well, I thought that was your flesh ripping on the pavement. He said to me after this happened. And he goes, do you think the guy would at least get out of the friggin' cab to see how I am? All right, that's on the instant feedback from the roaster. Staples drag! Now! You know, if this would have happened to Al, he'd been out for a week. His mommy would have had to come pick him up in the city or something. Right, no, you know? don't bring his family. No, but it's like ridiculous to, to sit wait there and minute, laugh wait at Wait a minute, it. before you get into that, you're the one who got anthrax because you saw a letter. Yeah, but I still the came to work. The letter was Q. You didn't come to work. You took a day off. You I, but I came to work. But I did start. Come. The now show you... is the work. You know, here I was on your side a minute well, ago. I'm sorry. I got dragged on 57th All right, Street. Now, I'll, uh, <laughs> now I'm back on your side. <laughs> Al, you had a right, though. When you see your buddy getting dragged, yell at this uh, cabby. Let me ask you. Afghan driving? Oh, without a doubt. You know, really? Let me tell you. If I'm with you, we'll put the boots to that bastard. I you don't drag guys. my friend after bombing our city. You start screaming, what the F are you doing? Dragging people down the road. That's not right. Dragging people. <laughs> so, Billy, when it came to a stop, what happened then when you finally got to stop? I mean, was your foot loose by then? No, my foot was like under the front seat where the cabbie sits. So it was like lodged in there. What are you the... doing shoving your foot in there anyway? <laughs> well, I didn't You're trying it... to uh, recreate your birth somehow? You're shoving yourself into a tight situation? Wait, Ron, this was not my fault. All right, this is the cabbie's fault. I'm no, not I'm telling you. No. I'm not telling this. you to. But don't go sticking your foot under the seat like a, 
Like a cockroach. It just happened to slip down there. I mean, I'm a big guy. You put one foot in and it got wedged under there. And then as the guy took off, I was doing like a big split down the seat, down the down 57th right. Street. Can you demonstrate it for us so I can see exactly the yeah, position of your yeah. body? Okay. Was it? This is the door of the cab. Right. right. The here. microphone okay. you're hanging on to, you're hanging on to the door. Right. And this is the door of the cab. My right foot is in the cab right here. And this one is dragging behind me like this. And I'm like hanging on, falling down and down and down. And so you're getting laughing. You're getting laughing. You're getting Lower and lower, lower to the street. Yeah, and it was like just hanging on to the sides of the door at one and, point. And so right now you're actually trying to run on one foot. I didn't even have a chance. It was just scraping along the, the pavement, the, so your the foot, side of the shoe. Your foot is bent behind yeah. you. Yeah. So you're almost down on your knee. No, I'm almost down on my junk. <laughs> wow. That's so how close it was. Your junk is almost getting dragged His down. His sack could have been ripped. His sack could have ripped. He was down so low. How many feet do you think you went? Uh, I guess at least 15 feet. Wow. wow. Screaming the whole way like <laughs> bloody murder, and there's like Al sitting there. Hmm. Oh, wait, hold on. We got a. Uh, oh, trick or treaters? Trick or treater. Okay. Hi, you're on Run and Fez. Who's this? Trick or treat. Who's this? It's Mrs. Staples. Mrs. Staples. Hi, Mrs. Staples. Hi, what, trick or treat. Which we almost would have been calling her the Widow Staples tonight. Right. I just had a call because. Okay, I was a little pissed about the whole cab thing last night, but sure. this is not the first time Billy's done this. What happened? Why doesn't Billy tell you about the story about when he used to deliver newspapers and ran himself over with the car? What an edge. Hon. Thanks for calling, hon. What happened? And knocked himself out cold. What the hell happened? He was, Billy used to deliver newspapers, and he went to deliver the paper because you throw him out the car. Sure. And he got out of the car to deliver paper to the door, and the car was still in reverse. So the car starts rolling down the road. So Billy ran to get in the car. The car knocked him over and, like, ran him over the door and knocked him out cold. And the car was, like, <laughs> run, riding down the block <laughs> and went into someone's driveway and, like, crashed into their car. Thank God. Was this when the... you were using? No. I was stone cold sober. But this isn't the first time. They get run going... over by your own car, Fuzzy. <laughs> It was, you gotta be hot. It was, it was very early in the morning. I was very tired. Yeah. You know, I got out of the car. I didn't put it in reverse, so I jumped out to deliver a newspaper, and the car kept running backwards. So I went to run, jump into it. Instead of hitting the brake, I hit the gas. God. And I guess I've it, heard about idiots like that. Yeah. And so it's not it, the first time that Billy's had a mishap with the car. But that, so you're blaming Billy. You're blaming your husband. No, I blame the cab driver. I told him to sue, but at least he's experienced enough of doing this. You should have sued the bastard. You really should. I have. got his. I got his license now. Well, it's so. a little late now. You already said you're not hurt. Well, <laughs> right away, say you're hurt. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, I did. You got to be sore today, though. I'm very, from doing I, the splits. I was. I was limping last night at the station because at first it was like all your adrenaline. You really don't feel stuff. My ankle was a little swollen last night, and my groin and my back were killing me. Were you, was his groin swollen last night, Mrs. Stacey? <laughs> Did you have to ice it? Well, I don't know. No, I'm still waiting for my little trick-or-treat. So. Oh. Oh. All right, we'll, we'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Thanks for that one, hon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm right, always bye -bye. there for you. Yeah. Bye, guys. I wanted to just say happy Halloween happy to all Halloween of you. Happy Halloween to you. Happy Halloween, Mrs. Staples. And Twisted Sister forever. Yes, bye Twisted bye. Sister rocks. Okay, bye. Twisted All right. Twistedsister dot com, man. That's okay. the place to be. All right, bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, Billy's uh, ex I mean wife. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> you know, if but I would have made that mistake. I meant she used to be before she was your wife. A groupie for Twisted Sister. Correct. So, but I, she's an ex groupie. Is what I, I said. <laughs> wow, that's a mistake. <laughs> That's a mistake. Now, if I would have said that, I'd be in big trouble when I got home. So, you ever do that? Hey, remember the time we went to Key West? I never went with you. Oh, <laughs> oh. Ouch. So, it was uh, someone else. Huh. More trick or treaters. Hey, somebody at the uh, door here. Hi, who's this? You're on Rana Fez. Hello? Hi, you're on Rana Fez. Hello? Hello? Yes, who's this? Hi, I'm calling from Canada. Oh, it's Cousin Quinn, Fezzy. Hi, Cousin Quinn. Cousin How Quinn. How are you? This is the very hot blonde woman who came in last Friday and I picked us up and drove us to the gig. We had never met her before. <laughs> and got in her car. Now, we found ourselves in a car with her and Perinoid. Right. And, yes, and, and Perinoid. Yeah. And Paranoid. Yeah. Yes, both. Wow, by the way, speaking of... Well, you know, I do, well, do want to say that... Um, uh, 
Yeah. I was wearing a burqa. I'm not Afghani. Let me tell but you. I was driving that cab that night as well. You may easily have been the worst driver ever. Right. Oh, gosh. I, she was bad. I really owe Billy such a huge apology. I am so sorry. I, I, it's so hard to see out of those burkas. Right. Do you remember that night how, how bad of a driver that you actually are? Me? Yes. Yeah. We were supposed to follow the Staples Pimp Mobile. Right. We were following Rory. Yeah, who was driving the Pimp Mobile. And at one point, we were passing Rory on a complete where Seventh and Broadway split. And I'm waving out the window, screaming, <laughs> Rory Hampton. And, and Quinton, don't lose us. And then we just meet her, right? And Weird Paranoid, who I swore was tripping because he's in the back going, It's like Disney World, man. It's like Disney World. He's suddenly like Surf Boy in some bad Vietnam movie. <laughs> right, he's freaking out. He's losing it seeing Times Square for the first time. And then, uh, yeah. We drive on the other side of the street in Canada. And Quinn's gone, Yeah, but you're not it. No, you don't. You do not. <laughs> Well, I, I almost fell for that. I almost fell for that. But she's like, does it matter which way we go? I go, yeah, of course it does. Yes. <laughs> we want to get there, don't we? Do you care? Well, I knew the address. I didn't know we were going to follow them. Oh, yeah. That's why exactly. I can say the address wasn't helping you one bit. And plus, Fezzi... Was, come on. I was a little starstruck. And Fezzi had the whole... And it's hard to see out of that burka, you know? Well, she's back to the burka again. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Fez is doing the universal crazy sign. The uh, spit in my finger at and my temple. Here's the weirdest thing, Fezzy. So she's taking us all over. Terrible driver, but beautiful blonde. So, of course, we're going to get in the car. And then she goes like this. She goes out of nowhere. So I know Mitchell Walters. And me oh. and Fezzy are oh literally ready to tuck and roll out of the car. Right. Like a bad kidnap movie. At this point, we realize we are hostage. No, he stalked me about ten years ago. He stalked us all at one time or another. Yes. But we don't bring his name up. Everyone has 15 minutes of Mitchell Walters fame. Where, you, where he's entered their lives. <laughs> Everyone in America does. Didn't you ever see the movie One Degree of Mitchell Walters? Because <laughs> everybody is owed money by him. Right. Uh, well, yeah, including Secretariat. I think, uh, every, no, no, the horse is the only one that gets paid. The rest of us are waiting. OTB knows, uh, knows him. Uh, the horses are smart enough to get their money up front. If you're going to drop names, why in the world would you pick Mitchell Walters as the name to drop? <laughs> now, uh... Is still in there. Well, Couldn't think of a senator. I, All right, I hold on know. for a second, Quinn. Al, you're still in the studio. Oh, okay. Get out. <laughs> See, look, he grabbed a bunch of Bye papers. Al. Put those papers back. He grabbed a bunch of papers and started shuffling them like, oh, I need to do the smiling. You know what I would love to do? Studio. Fezzy, you and Quinn take some kind of a cannonball run. Oh, God. I thought we show. did already. <laughs> Maybe you guys drive the Baltimore and back during the show, and I stay on the line with you. Why don't we go on a road trip? Here's the situation. We can document the whole thing. She's such a two-footed driver. Gas, brake, gas, right. brake. Left, right, left, right. Well, that's like she was marching. I, We're I marching to the village. The cabbie. Yeah. <laughs> See what you get for not taking the pit mobile? Well, you know, he... Uh, well, when that is low. filled up with Rory's Hamptons Posse. Right. What? Yeah. There's no room in the I left that car here just for you guys. No, let me tell you. There was no room in that car for us, Billy. We go down there. He's got his but chicks. There's no room in mine. I felt so badly. I hadn't thought this well, through Well, you had carefully. funny hats in right. yours, so it worked out the, good. These huge boots. Yeah, your thing was just nuts. And Rory always has half a Harlem with him wherever he goes. You know what I said? He's the whitest guy who has nothing but black friends. Yeah. I would never let Rory drive my car alone, but he was going to bring you guys down to Talk the bar crawl. Talk to his ass. Well, there's no room for us, Billy. Up until now, I thought he drove you guys all the way down there. No, no. we went with me? Nutsy Quinn. We went with Nutsy Quinn, Mitchell Walter's ex-lover. <laughs> we had to get a ride with a stranger who I showed up at our door. Fair. What? No, I know. I was only kidding about the Mitchell Walter's ex-lover. <laughs> I've never known Mitchell to take a wife. He, he's not a man who will take a wife. But Ronnie, he's uh, walking the beach. He's getting tan. He looks great. It's a new start. You know, everything's going great now. I got the number system. Yeah, check out the tan. Uh, you got to see how good things are going. I've got to know by the tan. But you love me 100, I got an area code system with horses. I don't bet football. It takes too long. I like to lose my money quick. Uh, Quinn, it was very, very uh, nice to talk to you again. Okay, thanks for coming okay. by. Hey, yeah. quickly, I have a crazy uh, mask face for you. Okay. Camilla Park Bowl, Parker Bowles. 
That's a crazy mass face. Oh, yeah, she's a yeah. mass face. Prince Charles' Actually, his girlfriend. All those British royalties are. Now, I'll never attack the Brits because right. they are our brothers. Yeah. That's, our brothers in true. arms. Okay, but then we'll go with Steven Tyler. Mass face. Mass face. Mass face. <laughs> yes, mass face. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye, Bye honey. Bye. Nice to talk to you again. Thanks, Cousin Bye. Quinn. Bye-bye. She's really hot, though. <laughs> she's extremely hot for the show. Billy, what do you think? Oh, yeah, I met her at the bar crawl. Very hot. But the, and you didn't know she gave us a ride. I had no idea until just now. I'm a little pissed at Rory. You ready to fight him? I'll, I'll drop with him in a second, that little runt. Good. I like the attitude. Runt. Call him down here. We have he time, just got called a runt. I haven't heard anyone get called a runt he's since the, Charlotte's Web. Says he's the runt of the litter. What is he going to do about it? <laughs> and he never even told me. Never even said to me, you know, I never took Ron and Fez down with your car. I took my girlfriend and all her, all her friends first. Like, they're more important than you guys. Oh, that hurts. Here What's comes Roy story, Hampton. Roy? Um, well, I only had uh, two uh, girls, and it just seemed like, uh, you know. No, no. You got the posse. The yeah. black posse you have with you at all times. Right. I don't know how you got to be so street for being from the Hamptons. But you don't have one white friend. You're like uh, David Kennedy when he used to be uptown copping heroin. Sure. <laughs> that was so yesterday's Jack Yo. Well, Later, but you had that Kennedy. thing packed. Well, you had Friday Fright in there with you. You guys seemed okay. She had a nice car, and yeah, you, know. you know she was. You a saw dog. me screaming at you in the middle of Times Square, waving out a window, screaming help. What were you yelling? Help! Help! You know she couldn't follow you through. Literally, you're going five miles an hour, and I see her just pulling off. And you're losing her. I was, I was driving so slow. <laughs> At one point, you just stopped in the middle of Times Square. You pulled up to the WWF New York. And Billy, I'm literally doing this. This is the stupidest idea ever, but I think I got a shot. <laughs> Man, what the hell? Roll the dice. It kind of makes that all worth it. Yeah, you get right. there and you realize it. It's like, oh, damn. And you're trying to keep paranoid from uh, so, losing it. So uh, you got that car to bring us down there, and you filled it up with your gang. Again. Why didn't you tell me? I mean, why didn't you even tell me that you didn't do that? And then you parked it in the most expensive garage in Greenwich Village. <laughs> really? Yeah. Paying I was 18 like, bucks uh, an hour? I could have rather bought Fezzy drinks all night with that money. Greenwich Village at Greenwich, Connecticut prices. Oh. Are oh, you got the pimp mobile with you tonight? No. Tonight I trained it. I was thinking about th that Harlem pizza run tonight. Uh, oh. I'm starving tonight. I'll cab it. I don't like the idea of you in a cab. <laughs> You're spread yeah. out all over I know, you're getting point. dragged down yeah. West 57th with our pizzas. Your ass is kitchen, and you got a pepperoni pizza under that sack. What was that place? It was 116th Street and 1st Avenue. Yeah. Uh, I remember the address. I we, just don't remember that. We wrote it, it down. Was wait, wait, I, used to, I used to cop crack there. <laughs> I can't be the place. Nobody eats in that hookers neighborhood. Up, hookers up there, too. Nobody eats in that neighborhood. You ever been with a white hooker? No, just yeah. Just once? Yeah. Okay. Once in a while, they show up. I'm glad your wife's listening. You're talking this way. It's like finding I'm... the gold Easter egg on Easter. That's funny. <laughs> that one was actually funny. You never know. You could end up with a white girl one night. So tonight you actually you don't have the pitmobile, so you're taking a cab again to Penn Station. I'm going to subway it for the next few nights. It's not a good spot. Really? Yeah. Teach uh, these two a lesson, let them split it two ways. It's not even that. I just don't Please. feel safe. I can't trust my but friends going home to back me up. If those know. two are in a cab together, they'll end up just going to a hotel. No, I said to him, I said, look, you guys don't want me in the cab with you. Just friggin' tell me. I'll take my own cab. I'll take the subway. You know, don't play games with me. Now you're taking it really personal. Well, it was personal, Fezzy. No one else got dragged down the damn block. Did either Fezzy, you're being drugged. He's going, why, why are we playing this? But you're being drugged. Stop dragging your ass around. There's only staples of stories. Stop dragging my staples around. <laughs> <laughs> did Rory ask you if you were all right? I know Al didn't. Yes, Rory came out and was told to. I got behind the car. I was leaning on the car because my back was really hurt and my leg. So now there's a big scene in the middle of West 57th after they stop? Oh, yeah. Because you couldn't get in the cab. You're hurt too bad. No, I had to walk around a it's little like bit. like a sewing circle out there, the way these hands are sitting there clucking at each other. So what was the Afghani cab driver doing while you're just bent over this trunk? Well, first, he, he doesn't get out right away. I guess Al's, like, talking to him, you know, and he finally gets out of the cab. Because Al stayed right on the hump in the back seat the whole time. He finally he gets didn't want to lose that choice seat in the middle. I'm surprised that Roy didn't have two chicks with him and the, and the pips. Yeah, that you were. He's angry. glad it's not. He's got to have the pips behind him wherever he goes. <laughs> ah, pips! Who were they? The blue notes or Jeff? Yeah. I'm, I'm with you this time. You're driving me nuts with that. Well, I don't understand why why it's a problem. Tony Orlando, where's Dawn? 
Once I'd like this thing fixed. Because once, Roy, I'd like to get in the, in the pimp mobile. Yes, to get the good seats. I think Rory thinks his friends look better in that car than you guys do. Not that anyone looks good in that car. <laughs> Kids were chasing it. They thought the Globetrotters finally came back for a home game. Now, Al always tells us if we empty out the White Castles, that there would have been room for us. Oh. <laughs> I emptied them myself. <laughs> the White Castle boxes. I took care of that from the last bar crawl before this one. I didn't want to hear about it. <laughs> White Castle's Black Posse, the Roy Hampton story. Tonight on VH1. So at the bar crawl, the pimp mobile is in a, a, a village parking garage. It's there for two hours, and I go to pick it up. It was 32 bucks. Oh, my gosh. What, you tell him you were from the Hamptons, for God's sake? And you know how many, how many White Castles he could have bought with that? And Roy didn't drive home with you? No, I went home alone. So Okay, so you had the $32 bill. Oh, yeah. Just got... him and his bags. So... Billy, I just want you to know, you spent $32 worth of parking so Rory could get his friends to the bar crawl. Yeah, that's a good point, Fessy. I, I, I left that car there for you guys, right, and so, only you guys. So your car wasn't used for company business to escort so I the can't host. Even, I can't even put that in and get reimbursed for that. No, I'll make sure of that, that you can't. I'll put that's, a stop to that immediately. That's as good as it gets. Wow. <laughs> you I mean, know, this I, totally blows. I want you to, to call Pete Johnson and have him weld this thing one day. Because, you know, I know it's always amusing to you, Al, but it happens like three, every third show. The here's, microphone completely fell off the stand. Here's the situation, too, with Billy. You get in that back seat, and it's like, it's a small world of fast food banks. <laughs> it's like you're back there. How about taking a snow shovel and cleaning up that fast food and garbage dump? I want you to know something. Before I, clean, I, got, I left the call with Rory to pick you guys up, I specifically emptied all the garbage and everything out of that car just to get ready for you guys. It's a world of burgers and a world the of fries and a world of cakes and a world apple of apple pies. pies. <laughs> it's all in the trunk now, but it was out of oh, the seat. Why not just throw it in the garbage? Why move it to the glove box in the trunk? He they... covered up a dead hooker with it back there. <laughs> I'll tell you, you got to take a break. The it's... white one. <laughs> Eight, seven, no, you gold. don't kill the white ones, Fezzy. The golden Eight. egg. <laughs> Are you kidding? The white one he took to the prom. <laughs> no, that's enough. Close. is my ex. White people are so scared of black people. We've done enough of that. Eight, seven, seven, six, nine, two, one, zero, two, seven. Ron and Fez, 1027, WMEW.